Major Arena Soccer League MVP. Number 26, I'm 26. Ian Bennett. Michael Platform. This is your 16th indoor yeah. season? With the wave, I think. Yeah, actually. 16th total, 13th with wave, right? Two with Chicago, uh, one with uh, Tropics. Yeah, so I think, yeah, 16, yeah. So 16, 17, whatever. Okay. Whatever the number is. Now we'll go 16. <laughs> yeah. So. Did you ever imagine that when you started playing professional indoor soccer that you would have a career at, of, of this length? No, honestly, I just, I'm, I'm obviously first thing I'm blessed, you know, I got to give it up to God, but uh, no, I just, you know, I try to take care of my body and just over the years looking at some of the veterans that um, just the tips and, and tricks they uh, taught me just to keep my body in shape and, and honestly, I eat well, I hydrate, I stretch, um, but I, I honestly, a lot of, a lot of has to go to taking care of my body and um, yeah, I've just been blessed on to be on some really, really good teams, and um, I just kind of riding until the wheels fall off, I guess. You know, you've played with, uh, boy, probably half the players in Wave history. <laughs> uh, you, you've been with us for that for that long. Who are some of the guys who have been the, you would say, your most uh, significant influences among teammates or, or coaches? Yeah, big. It's like obviously Giuliano. Obviously having him coach me now, and but obviously Same with him thing. being teammates with him, um, he's just been awesome. Yeah, and he's obviously a fellow Canadian. But like like uh, Joe Hamas, Troy Dasovskis, um, man, there's a lot. Kinger, even just the history of them, and then even in Chicago, like where we had Stephen Armstrong. Uh, Johnny Ball, uh, Steve Morris. So like, they've taught me the culture and everything about indoor soccer. So, so you've been in Milwaukee community now, you know, more or less uh, 13 years. Um, is it uh, is it kind of reminiscent of Hamilton? Uh, how would you compare it? Yeah, actually, honest, it's like blue collar. You know, there's a lot of good people. I mean, this is like my second home. I know a ton of people that are just really good people. And I think the thing with Hamilton and with Milwaukee is, is uh, people make the city right like there's not too much things to look at the weather's not the best um so it, it's kind of crazy it's, it's the people that make uh the city thrive so i love it i know that uh you know as you get to latter stages of your career let's say um uh, gotta be you know some thought about well uh, what's my plan kind of going forward i'm not trying to yeah. dictate you yeah. you seem like a guy can still keep playing for several more seasons and, you know if you stay healthy uh, it seems like you definitely have the uh the intensity to keep, to keep playing, but uh, what do you see in the future of Ian Bennett perhaps after your professional? Yeah, good thing I know obviously Keith Dozer, but yeah, maybe yeah, we can yeah, work yeah. on promoting this game and, and maybe working in the office of the uh, MSL, uh, you know what I mean? See what happens and, and just try to keep promoting this game, especially for the up and coming youngsters that are coming into the game. So I would love to be a part of that staff, maybe even working with the Wave. I gotta get back. I gotta get back to the young kids up in this game and definitely wanna just keep them going and, and build that history, especially in Milwaukee too or earn with the league.